Hey everybody, KWG here. So if you guys are here for the very first time, this video is going to be talking about the weapon system that's available in Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. Now the weapon system for the most part is incredibly simple for every single class. If your class is able to use it, then you can use that weapon. So whenever we go to battle settings, we can go to the first tab, which is our job, and we can actually see the usable weapons. From here, it'll tell us what weapons that we have available for that class. Here, you can see that warriors can pretty much use every single weapon type except for maces. And for classes like warrior, this allows you to be able to find a weapon that you're more comfortable using within that class. Now for skill trees like warrior, you'll be able to notice that they have a lot of synergy with katanas, lances, axes, and great swords. And they don't necessarily have a lot of synergy for with weapons like twin daggers and fist weapons. However, that does not stop them from using those weapons. And one of the big reasons for that is because using the weapon system, you can then use other skill combos that you get from other classes. For example, Monk gives you Punch Rush, Glide Kick, and Steel Peak. Whereas Pugilist gives us Takedown, Aerial Hook, and Double Uppercut. Learning those combo abilities learns it for the entire weapon. And so long as your class is able to use that weapon, you can then also use the skills. So for example, I'm using on my R1, R2, I'm using Double Uppercut. My R1, R1, I'm using Punch Rush. My Triple R1, then R2, I'm using Takedown. And when I hold R1 into R2, I'm using Glide Kick. So as of right now, we can see that currently, with all the classes that I have unlocked, we can see that Knuckles are available to be used on Pugilist, Warrior, Thief, and Monk, which means all of those combo abilities that I use for Fist Weapons or Knuckles are available to use on all of those additional classes. However, talking about the synergies like we were before, we can see that Warrior did not exactly have any actual synergies when it comes to the classes themselves. However, certain other classes do. So going back to the Warrior tree, we see that they have no skills that basically take on attributes from Knuckles, but we can see that they have combo ability effect for lances, great swords, as well as axes. These combo ability effects are only available on that job. So for whatever reason, I wanted to be able to have the combo ability effect of deflecting spear on my R1, R1, R2 on, let's say, Dragoon, I wouldn't be able to have that. I would only be able to have that on Warrior. But going back to Knuckles, we can see that even Monk has a ton of synergy with lances as well as fist weapons in their skill tree. And to further show what we're talking about, you can see that in my combo for R1, R1, R2, I have Strike Cancel, which is an augmentation that Monk gets to be able to then show on the second link that any skill you put here then enables earlier dodging. Same thing with Pugilist Heart and the third link, which gives you strengthens attack type, bypassing enemy resistances, and making weaknesses easier to exploit. But if I were to go back to Warrior, those augmentations or those combo abilities are no longer there. So for the weapon system, while you can use weapons that aren't necessarily designated for that class, so for example, here with Warrior, we can use just about every weapon, we definitely want to be able to take that synergy that we see with that class and narrow down our available choice weapons to axes, lances, and great swords, and maybe even katana. But one thing that I spoke about in a previous video where I spoke about the job system, you can then use the affinity system to be able to create your own synergy, like with what I'm doing with Knuckles, as well as the Warrior affinity. Now, most of the knuckle abilities deal in knockback. However, with the affinity from warrior, we can also take advantage of the wall splat mechanic. When enemies are then near a wall and you splatter them against that wall, they will take additional damage as well as additional break damage. And you can increase that even further by dealing in affinity for warrior. This allows you to be able to break enemies easier, which allows you to get the instant kills that much faster without having to deplete their health bar. And so I was able to use this affinity on warrior and then my knuckles that have insane knockback and well create my own synergy with the weapon system as you can see the coral there was able to be knocked back and into the wall and there we did it again that allows you to do way more damage than just smacking them regularly so fighting enemies against the wall might actually be beneficial unless it's a boss or something so the job and weapon systems definitely go hand in hand and they are both things that require somewhat mastering but affinity is definitely something you also want to understand when it comes to learning both of these mechanics stranger of paradise final fantasy origins allows you to make every single class fun and exciting and do incredible amounts of damage based on how you play the game so with that being said we're gonna end this video out here and thank you guys again for watching stay awesome stay beautiful and i hope you guys are having an amazing day i'll see you guys in the next one peace i'm out